Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, let us now start the program with the main affairs of the day. A land bank is being set up in Kaski to bring the barren land into use. The village municipality plans to lease the land for 20 years. The Nepali medicine industry is protesting import of foreign medicines. Locusts are likely to come to Nepal, but likely the damage will be less due to unfavorable weather. And much more. Let us now continue the program with the affairs of the chilies. Most of the Indian and Nepali dishes are chili pepper hot. However, one record shows that China consumes the most chilies in the world. Well, if you like a little kick to the taste of your food, chili could be the answer. The farmers in many places of the world grow chili as vegetable crop to sustain life. In the next report, farmers are at loss due to the diseases in the chilies. Due to the climatic changes, we have been suffering from different outbreaks both in our crops and among humans. Locusts have been dying in Nepal, but new locusts keep coming from Arab. The year 2020 has been a very dark year so far. Our hope is only revelation from God. Farmers of Sundarharaja 12 are worried after the growing chilies started dying. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Mon Lal, who had been enjoying vegetable farming in Morang, Sundar Haranja, has become worried after suffering losses in one field after another. He is very saddened now that the pepper planted in five kata withered and died. Mohan Lal Sreshta of Morang, Sundar Haranja, is a hard-working farmer. Three months ago, the 15 kata full of tomato was wasted due to lack of market. However, he did not lose interest in agriculture. He cultivated chilies on five biga of land with enthusiasm, hoping that something would happen, but he could not hope to reap the benefits of chilies. Along with the plant, the fruit was also attractive, but when the growing pepper suddenly started to die, it was as if he had fallen off a cliff. His hopes were diminished. Mohan Lal, who dreamed of compensating for losses from agriculture due to the lockdown, is now financially strapped after he suffered huge losses from chili farming. Sixty percent of the variety of chilies brought by him are dead and the rest are dying. The pepper that you see today will wither the next day and die the next day. When the pepper started to die, he showed it to the technician. He was even more disappointed when the technician said it was caused by bacteria and could not be saved. He is now in the process of uprooting chilies and planting another crop. He hopes that the state would have look into it even if he had not publicized for the fear of demoralizing farmers. He says he hopes that the state will take care of it. किसान वो रुचि हैं और भोली के दिन में अगारी बढ़ने पर सब बने रह क्या ही समझना हो आमिर किसान को लाइक ये समझ दे देखी पानी उनसा तो तुम्हारे चल लाख सा और जो अब यो क्या उनसा बने आमी किसान हूँ यो यो मेरे अपने दोनों पर ना आमिर ठेका में तब एक बार्षिक तब एक ठेका का दौर आमिर गवारे हैं तुम अब � Thank 
कहीं ना कहीं तो ठामा नौ हजार पुगी दे उन तो दस्तोलाक समोलाई से डैडी राम निरोला अनदर फार्मर ऑफ सुंदर हाइचन ट्वेल्व सेज दैट इट हैज डिमोरलाइज्ड द फार्मर्स सर ये ले कर रहा है रिबाने को किसान ने लाय अपनो अपनो मनोबल एक घटाव नहीं हल्को किस तो हल्को प्रगति दुख कर रहा देरी लगाया नहीं कर रहा उनसे किसान ने ले इस खुलाकी बने का अपनो सरा सरी ला जत्ती के युवत भी रोला है पनी माय कर रहा सही उत्पादन करे को उनसा रोपे को उनसा अब इस तो मुदा खेरी तब वो नहीं किसान ने को लगी बने को तो यो ता नरामरे करा हो यो प्रकृति को खेल बनो या की हो गर्दाई ज्यादा 12 said that the state could not sit idly by and look at the farmers suffering. He says that he will take initiative in this regard as the ward chairman. नगर पालिका वाला बिगत में पनी छठी पूर्ति में कई सात सौ गरु खेती किसाने अलग गौर दे आए कोसा हर एक उसमें 50 परसेंट अंदान पन दे कोसा और नष्ट भाई ठामा देरी ठामा आ तेज को मूल्यांकन करेडा कई सहूलियत दहाँ को मेहनत धरक टिप्ने नपाईकन बिरुवा मरे वहाँ के क्षतिपूर्ति पाँन पर्च को लगी हमी भरमदूर प्रयास करने पहल करने वहाँ के कई न के पाँन पर्च Mohanlal, who has been getting good yield from vegetable farming and believes that the wound should be healed by fire, is still growing vegetables including string beans, eggplants and gourds. In this way, he is enjoying agriculture by becoming self-reliant from agriculture and he is also becoming a source of inspiration for others. But the farmers are suffering losses one after another. The state needs to listen to the pain of hard-working farmers like Mohanlal. After the news report on chilies, let us now talk about the fears of the land. Land is where we stand. It is considered as mother by most of the cultures around the world. It is where everything happens. People learned to cultivate this ever-giving land to eat. In Nepal, the youths have been going abroad to find easier jobs. This is because the Nepali land is hard to cultivate in the mountains. With the advent of modernization in agriculture in Nepal, the land that was left barren is now being cultivated. We know that as the population grows, the food that we produce will not be sufficient to feed. We need to find new ways to grow food. A land bank is being set up in Kaski to bring the barren land into use. The village municipality plans to lease the land for 20 years. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. A land bank is being set up in Kaski to bring the barren land into use. The village municipality plans to lease the land for 20 years. The Annapurna municipality of Kaski is going to set up a land bank for the use of barren fields. Village municipality has taken the policy of selecting the appropriate proposal by inviting proposal from the village municipality for commercial farming by leasing the land for minimum of 20 years. The village municipality will take initiative in physical infrastructure of land, rural roads, irrigation, electricity, drinking water, coal storage, and the like technical assistance as well as fertilizer, seeds, and market promotion. The policy has been taken to attract the private sector to establish industries of agriculture produce including endogenous crops, herbs and fruits based on the agriculture resources of the village municipality. There is also a plan to develop agriculture groups within the village municipality as commercial agriculture by coordinating the programs of various models of agriculture firms with the concerned stakeholders. The village municipality has stated that potato production program will be conducted in certain places and cultivation of terrace farming, banana growing, home gardening and nutritious crops will be encouraged. After the news report on land bank, let us now talk about the affairs between Nepal and India. South Asia is our home. Home should be peaceful where children grow with love, kindness, care understanding and support for positive energy. If the home has negative energy, we cannot last as a family. Misunderstandings should be solved by talking with each other and clarifying our understanding. 
We are human beings, the crown of creation. No other animal has the ability of mental function as the human beings. Animals cannot communicate, so they use physical war to solve their problems. But man has the gift of communication and spirituality, which separates him from the animals. We should be able to solve this nonsense that is going on in our home continent. Indian media talks negative about the Nepali government. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The government of Nepal has formally objected to the allegations made by some Indian media outlets. The government of Nepal says that they are false, baseless and misleading. In a letter to the government of India, the government has warned that the campaign to disseminate such negative material could seriously hurt the sentiments between Nepal and India. The objection was raised in a letter sent to the Northern Division of the Indian Ministry of External Affairs through the Nepalese Embassy in Delhi in coordination with the Prime Minister's Office and the Ministry of External Affairs. The Nepali Embassy sent the letter on Sunday. In the letter written by the government, it is mentioned that wrong and hateful content has disrespected Nepal and the Nepalese people. The letter also urged the Indian side to take action against those who disseminated such material and to create friendly environment in the future. After the news report on Nepal-India relationship, let us now talk about the affairs with the successful farmers. Agribusiness totally depends upon the climatic conditions. In some places it is very good, in other places it is hard to meet ends. It also depends upon the good mind of the farmer. This next story is about the success of farmers. If farmers are successful, we know that we have food. It is because of the farmers the world is supported for life. This is attractive to the new youths who go for foreign employment. Farmers of Saptari enjoying tomato farming are earning more than 4 lakh annually. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. A farmer from Sabdari is satisfied with tomato farming. Ram Chandra Khang of Tilotha Kuladi, Gaupalika 2, has been cultivating tomato commercially. He has been earning more than 4 lakh rupees annually from tomato farming. Ram Chandra Khang of Tilothi Kuladi, Gaupalika 2 of Sabdari has become a successful farmer by cultivating tomato commercially. He started cultivating tomato commercially in 2073 BS after suffering a great deal in other ventures. He had no definite job before this. He sometimes took a trip to India for employment and sometimes he took a brick factory job. He is now leasing land to grow vegetable commercially. He followed his father's footsteps. He still remembers his father always advised him that he should be a vegetable grower or a government worker. Bebsai ke roop ma shuru garnu bhai ko 2003 saal dekhi. Ma amdani ko hisab le dheri nai santushti chhu. Ma krishi pe saman dheri ma vishwas gar chhu. Bao baje le jaga to thore thiyo harwa charwa ko kaam ma gar dhe thiyo. Khe din pachi ma ita bhaata ma pani kaam gare. Pheri Punjab tira pani lage. 2003 साल देखी यो व्यवसाय रूप में लीज मजा का लिए रा तरकारी खेती तरफ मेले लागे कौशले तो बन्नो भाई न तर मेरो बाव बुआ थी उनी मेरो बुआ को बनाई थी कि खेती करो तरकारी नौकरी करो सरकारी दुई टाइम मात्रा पैसा जा The government has given a grant for the expansion of this business. He has received nine lakh from district agriculture. Office Saptari, 150,000 from Save the Children and Save the Saptari, and 150,000 from Farmers. Oh, Gornu Bhasha, Tara Krishi Pardasni Ma Mela Ma Mele Bhagli, Tio Golvela Ma Partham Puraskar Pani Mele Jitiacho, Tara Ma Tio Yuba Sati Aru Lai Bansugi, Bides Nojo. आपने स्वदेश मा बसेरा आपने कृषि भूमि मा मेहनत करेरा विदेश बंदा धेरे ने लाभ कमाऊँ जो कृषि टेलीविजन लाई मा ज़्यादा ज़्यादा के छोड़ने फेरी ते ही उखान जा मेरो बुआ को बनाई खेती करो तरकारी नौकरी करो सरकारी यो बंदा विदेश मा कत्ते आराम छेना 
यो मुनाफा पनी छेन क्योंकि विदेश तो जान युवा विदेश में ऊ तो धेरे किसिम को प्रकार को खान घर में पैसा तो पठाऊ तर तो घर में उत्पादन छेन भरी खरीदे खान सकते He has been earning up to 450,000 annually from this farming. He also said that Agriculture Knowledge Center has been imparting necessary training in vegetable business. Similarly, Savitri Pandit is another farmer who has been cultivating vegetable commercially. She has been cultivating mushrooms commercially. This business which started in 2071 BS has a support from Agriculture Knowledge Center. She said that the Agriculture Knowledge Center has provided training and seeds for mushroom cultivation. म 2071 सालमा चिया व्यवसायमा लागेको छु र मलाई कृषि विकासका सरहरुले प्रोत्साहन दियो, उत्साह दियो। तपाई सक्षम हुनुहुन्छ यस खेतीमा, तपाई गर्नुस् भनेर अनि त्यहाँबाट सहयोग पनि पाए। औषधीय गुण स्वास्थ्य को स्वास्थ्य वर्धक धेरै राम्रो यो जुन विषादी हालेर उमारेको उब्जाएको जुन तरकारीहरु हुन्छ तरकारी बाली त्यो भन्दा यो 100 गुणा फाइदाजनक च्याउ राछ शी हैज बीन सेलिंग अप टु 22 केजी daily she has been giving training along with mushroom production similarly anil kumar mehta is another farmer who has been cultivating vegetables commercially he has been cultivating vegetables commercially since his father's time anil has continued the same profession as his forefathers he has been cultivating cauliflower commercially म त अब आफ्नो ठेगान भए देखि नै गर्दै आएको छु मेरो बाबु बाजेले त परापुरको काल देखि नै यहाँ खेती भइरहेको छ यहाँ त सर अहिले एक दुई बिगा यता पल्टी यता छ अनि चाहिँ नि यस यो गाउँको परतिर चाहिँ नि गएर 15 20 बिगामा हुन्छ जति आम्दानीको हिसाबले वार्षिक सर के भन्ने अब त यो भाउ के छ बजारको दर रेट त्योमा भर पर्दछ कहिले काहीँ चाहिँ नि अब काउली उत्पादन भयो हैन कौली उत्पादन भए देखि बजारमा चाहिँ नि 10 रुपैयाँ केजी भइहाल्छ 15 तब त राम्रो फाइदा हुँदैन अनि कौली खेतीमा बढी भन्दा बढी 25 30 मा जान्छ भने राम्रो नै फाइदा हुन्छ वर्ष यही भन्ने के अब विदेशमा गएर चाहिँ नि आफ्नो घरमा पनि धान्न सकिदैन अब विदेश पलायन हुन्छ लगानी लगाएर 2 लाख 2.5 लाख लगानी लाग्छ भन्छ कि 1 लाख रुपैयाँ महिना दिन्छु अब त्यहाँ गएर ठगीमा पर्छ अब चाहिँ नि आफ्नै यहाँ खेती गरेर आफ्नै केही कमाउ कि Bhagwan Singh is another farmer who grows vegetables commercially. He has been cultivating vegetables commercially since 2040 BS. He has been earning up to 500,000 annually from vegetable farming. He has succeeded in imparting higher education to five children through this business. Ma ta 40 saal dekhi lagaude aayeko 40 saal. Oh. फायदा तो इसमें सब खेती बाड़ा बड़ी फायदा है तरकारी खेती में छेन तो हो सब भाग बड़ी खेती वार्षिक आए चार पांच लाख समय तो तो भाव को निर्भर होते घटी हो सरदर में मेरे परिवार छतजना होना तो वहाँ तो पढ़ूँ म बुढ़ा बुढ़ी मत दुईजना म खेती में छोरा छोरी सब पढ़ेज रिशिव ग्रांड फर बोरिंग एंड सीज फ्रम एग्रीकल्चर नलेज सेंटर हि हेज बीन कल्टिवेटिंग वेजिटेबल्स ऑन अबाउट वन एंड हाफ बिगा अफ लैंड The biggest problem for vegetable farmers is the inability to control diseases and pests in vegetables. He said that farmers have not been able to reap the benefits of the small-scale agriculture production. After the news report, let us now take a small commercial break. Stay with Krishi Television.
After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal. Dear viewers, let us now talk about the affairs in medicine in Nepal. The Nepali people are fighting for independence in agriculture and agriculture-based industries such as the medical industry. The Nepali pharmacists are competing with the foreign products in Nepal. This is very good as we will have higher quality in Nepal. The Nepali government, however, keeps importing medicines from foreign countries. Well, from my experience, the Nepali medicines are sometimes not good enough to cure diseases and foreign medicines should be used. But in case of sanitizers, Nepali production should be good enough. The Nepali medicine industry is protesting the import of foreign medicines. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Nepal Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association has started agitation demanding to stop import of medicines produced in foreign countries. Entrepreneurs have been agitating saying that the government has neglected domestic production and industry by giving priority to foreign products even though the essential medical items including masks and sanitizers are produced in Nepal. The union has staged a sit-in in front of the Department of Drug Management on Wednesday. Entrepreneurs have said that they will intensify the agitation if their demands are not met. He also said that the state should not neglect the indigenous companies. उच्च आवश्यक तौर पर मार्ग बने को हमरो क्यों होता बंदा केरी हमरो सैनिटाइजर को ये वड़ा केरे थे अगरी पंती माय वड़ा सैनिटाइजर को पुरा था जो सैनिटाइजर बने को जी तबाई को कस्टो बंदे की ना वो जो ना हमेरे आयलोपेथिक कंपनी है लेकिन ये चालीस वड़ा कंपनी निकाली रहा है को अवस्था था इसमें केरे थे खेल को अवस्था था। तेल्ला कह रहे थे आप वो कोड कर रहा मिली हो साइंटिस्ट को विषय में पहले एक नंबर में गुदार में मिली हो रखे हैं तो तेल्ला में कह रहे थे आप वो यो जस्टो कह रहे थे विदेश बड़ा आउने मनु इंडिया बड़ा आउने जस्टो चाइना बड़ा आउने तेल्ला में हमले कह रहे थे हमी आत्मा निर्वर According to the association, the government has not given permission and encouragement for the production of masks, PPEs, cosmetics, food supplies and other products in Nepal. After the news report on protest, let us now talk about the affairs with establishment of Vat Institute in the Far West. Vat Institute is very important for the farmers who keep animals. If animals die of disease, the loss is very big for the farmers. The Far West is fast developing in agriculture by establishing vet centers. This supposedly is done to help the farmers from government side. The credit goes to Nepali government for focusing the development in agriculture. Nepali people are also awakened to the new age of modernization of agriculture in Nepal. The establishment of vet center in the far west. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Veterinary hospitals and veterinary expert centers have been established in three districts of the far western state. As per the decision taken by the far western state, Council of Ministers, veterinary hospitals and veterinary expert centers have been set up in Kailali, Doti, and Dashula of the state. Along with this, the centers have been established in all of the nine districts of the far western state. Minister of Land Management, Agriculture and Cooperatives, Binita Devi Choudhury, said that veterinary hospitals and veterinary expert centers have been set up in all the districts of the state for the convenience of the farmers. After the news report on establishment of vet centers, let us now talk about the affairs caused by natural hazards. Nepal is a subtropical country with temperate weather in the northern side due to the altitude of the land. We are dependent on rainwater for most of our cultivation. With the increased population of the country, more forest areas are demolished to create settlement and agriculture area. This has caused a change in the climatic pattern of Nepal and India. We are now facing severe droughts and floods. It is estimated a huge rainfall will hit Nepal from today. The people are warned to stay safe. Huge rainfall is likely to hit Nepal. 
Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Authority has urged to remain vigilant as heavy rains are expected till 8th of Shawan. At a press conference held at Shingadarar on Friday, the authority said that there is a possibility of rain in all parts of the country from Shawan 4 to 8. The authority has said that the heavy rain is likely in State 1, State 2, Bagmati State, Gandaki State and some parts of State 5 and few places in the far west and Karnali State. The five-day downpour is expected to significantly increase the water levels of small and large rivers across the country and cause some rivers to overflow, displacing many families, causing loss of life and property. Similarly, since the onset of monsoon, most of the hills and Churi areas have been washed away by the rains so far and possibility of landslides is expected to increase for five days. Authority Chief Executive Officer Anil Pokhril informed that all preparations have been completed to minimize the damage caused by floods and landslides. A total of 101 people have been killed in floods and landslides in Nepal from just 31st to Shawan 2nd. Similarly, 51 people have gone missing and 41 others have been injured in the floods and landslides. According to the Disaster Management Authority, a total of 136 houses have been damaged. Similarly, 41 people have been killed by lightning in a period of 30 days. After the news report on likely hazard, let us now talk about the fears of locust infection in agriculture. Locust outbreak is considered to be directly related to the relationship of human beings with God. At this time, since the people have turned away from God, there are many people who believe that God has turned away from blessing the people. When we look at the natural hazards that have affected the people, we do realize that we are definitely doing something that is not right. Our work as human beings is to protect the earth and all the creation. Are we doing that? Locusts are likely to come to Nepal, but likely the damage will be less due to unfavorable weather. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Other locusts are also more likely to enter Nepal as the wind direction will blow from southwest to northeastern region. The possibility of some more swarms of locusts from Rajasthan, India coming to Nepal has increased. According to the Plant Quarantine and Pest Management Center, other locust swarms can also enter Nepal. According to the center, locusts are more likely to come as the wind direction has shifted to the northwest on Friday and changed from Saturday to northeast. A center has urged to adopt vigilance in Nepal as few locusts are coming to India from Arab countries through Pakistan. A swarm of locusts had entered wards two and three of Gadawa village in Dang district on Ashar 28th at 9.30 a.m. The groups are said to have settled in the forest in the western part of Surkhet on Thursday evening. They had tried to stay in Chinchu of Surkhet and the locusts had entered the forest to the west after fleeing from the sound of plates and tins. Locusts have not been able to cause much damage due to the precautionary measures taken by the farmers to repel the locusts. In addition, due to inclement weather, the locusts have not been able to do much damage even though they have come to Nepal several times. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basme. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day.
a land bank is being set up in Kaski to bring the barren land into use. The village municipality plans to lease the land for 20 years. The Nepali medicine industry is protesting import of foreign medicines. Locusts are likely to come to Nepal, but likely the damage will be less due to unfavorable weather. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minirmala Basman. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samrita Krishi, Nepal Kushan.